Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shanaz Malik and we are going to discuss uh, counterfeit medicine. The content of the video is taken from standard book of pharmacology. What is counterfeit medicine? According to WHO, a counterfeit medicine is one which is deliberately or fraudulently mislabeled with respect to identi identity and or source. So, counterfeit can apply to both on branded as well as generic product and counterfeit product may include product with correct ingredient or with wrong ingredient or without active ingredient or with in, uh, insufficient active ingredient or with fake packaging. All these conditions are included in counterfeit medicine. Now what is spurious drug? Spurious drug is a drug manufactured under the name which belongs to another drug. If it is an imitation of another drug or if it has been substituted fully or partly by another drug or if it is wrongly claimed to be product of another manufacturer. So this is called spurious drug. So dangers of counterfeit drugs. First is failure to provide effective treatment. Is patient think they are addressing their disease due to insufficient active ingredient put the children as well as elderly patient in severe at severe risk. Ad adulteration with toxic chemical often leading to death and, and injury. Now dangers of counterfeit drugs. So drug resistance when drug contain too little of their active ingredient to kill all the organism it can lead to emergence of drug resistance strain. Loss of confidence in pharmaceutical company. Even a single case of counterfeit drug undermine the entire credibility of pharmaceutical supply chain. Diversion of fund to organized crime. This has uh, enticed criminal organization to become involved, some with links to narcotic trades or other form of organized crime. Here are some examples of counterfeit medicine. So those products contain the same ingredient of genuine medicine and with authentic packaging but contain incorrect amount of ingredient. For example, in Tanzania, glibenclamide tablet contains six times the normal dose due to which two people died and nine were hospitalized in 2009. Those products having resemblance to the original with genuine packaging but containing harmful substances instead of correct active ingredient. Example that is Viagra and Cialis smuggled into the UK in 2012 and state tablet sold in USA contain undeclared active ingredient with possible serious health risk to the consumer. Thank you for watching the video.